Okay, let's work a little bit with the tutorial that's here from WeVideo, uh, one of the Google add-ons. So um, first of all, I'm going to show you that up here there's something that you can sort media. So all I've done is notice this media tab was up here, and up here there's media, there's text, there's audio, and whatever else we got, transitions and graphics, fine. So I'm going to look at media real quick here, and I'm going to just leave the folder open. And on the media tab, there's one that says sort media. So I can hit sort media and I'm going to sort it by name ascending. So this should sort my media into 0, 1, 0, 2, so forth, so on. If I wanted to change it to thumbnail views, then it just looks like this and that's perfectly fine. So what I wanted to do was point out a little bit of editing process and how to build a video. So these are media files, which is video and video only. So I'm just going to drop them down here. I'm just going to drag and drop them into the video thing. I drag them in order. One, two, and three and we'll see that if we tell this to play back we'll look in and basically concept is we have a couple of boys come in here and I guess they're dressed like spies <laughs> and they drive up to this tree and notice a couple things here well the guy in the glasses is on the left but when we look from the other side he should be on the right and he's not that's totally backwards not to mention the fact that they lean in at the wrong time so let me go in and show you that what I mean by here so I play this again they're already already leaned in in this video, and then when it comes out to this other video, they're just now leaning in. So there's two things wrong. One, the guy in the sunglasses is on the wrong side, and two, they're just now leaning in, but yet it shows them leaning in again. So we need to fix both of those things. So let's talk about the editing. So uh, first of all, number one, if you ever have a piece of it that you, you just don't want, oh, man, I didn't want to put that piece in there, or I made a mistake when I edited it, so I'm just going to start new, just highlight it like it is now by clicking on it. Any piece you can do, you can highlight it by clicking on it and just hit the delete button. All right. So if I want to slide it back in the tree again, I just slide it right back in there again, and I'm ready to roll again. Okay, so again, highlight and delete, and that's just a delete button, which is probably the backspace on a Google uh, Chrome, on a Dell Chromebook, I would imagine. All right, there's probably a shortcut for it too, and I'll get that to you uh, if we don't have it yet. So I'm going to fix those two things we talked about, and I'm going to go to this third clip to fix this easy one first. So now notice if I'm on the clip, and this is kind of hard to see here, so down here in the lower right-hand corner, there is a place where I can expand things. So if I'm on the third clip, notice how now I can see this menu up top here. What I'm going to do is go to the clip editor. When I go to the clip editor, there is a choice. There's a couple different things I can do. Heck, I can put them on their heads if I wanted to. I could probably do something with volume and animation and whatnot and who not and color. But all I'm going to do is do a horizontal flip. And so now the guys are actually on the right side. And I'm going to say done editing. So that one's taken care of. And now I'm going to go back to this last one. And notice I can pull this last one back here. And that's about where I want to do it. So before they even start leaning in, and if I want to, I can do what's called add a marker. So I just click on this bit that's called add a marker here. This other one says split selected clip at the playhead. So honestly, I could do it that way. So I could just actually just go cut and it splits the two clips apart. And then I can clip on the one. And like we talked about before, I'm just going to hit the delete button and it's gone. And then now I slide this other one into here. And then let's take a look at what we've done now. So again, I'll just bring it back to a little bit of the first one and we'll roll it again. And here come the boys in the bikes. And just as soon as they think about leaning in, it cuts to the clip and they're on the right side. Fantastic. That's what we were looking for. So we've got that taken care of. Now, just for fun, let's add a little music to it. All right, so we're going to go over here to where it says audio, and we're going to do two things. In this sound effects, there's one called nature, and we're going to grab summer afternoon and flip it into one of the audio selections down here. And the other one that I want to grab is in suspenseful, and in suspenseful, we're going to go grab one called brothers in arms trailer and bring that down here. And so now, again, I can shrink this back down again so it doesn't look right. So again, that's down in the lower thing. It's either shrink or depending on what you want to do. And now all I'm going to do is talk to you about this, the, the volume. On the volume on the first one, the little nature thing, we're going to bring it way down. I'm going to bring it like 16%. And this will start at 100, but I'm going to bring this one down just a little bit to the Brothers in Arms clip, which is some suspenseful music. The other thing that I'd like to do, well, let's just play it real quick for you. You'll see. I should be able to hear both suspenseful music and a little bit of nature rocked in there, too. So the other thing I'm going to do is just create some fade ins. So I'm going to go to this very first screen here. And again, if you'll look at the tab, which again, if it's shrunk down, it's a little harder to see, but hover over that little bit in the upper left hand corner. And then right here, the diagonal thing is a fade option. And if I hit the fade option on this one, I'll notice that I can fade the video in. 
So I'm going to actually let that video fade in for about five seconds. I'm not going to fade it out at all, so I'm going to change that to a zero. So then I've got that taken care of. And then I'm going to go down here to the audio again. And this audio, this brothers in arms fade in, I'm also going to do it too. So again, take a look at the diagonal bar with two things. And if you click it, I'm going to say audio fade in. I'm not going to fade it out, so that's going to be a zero. But again, I'm going to take about a good five seconds before I start really rolling that in. And now if we go back here to the beginning again, I don't need to go all the way to the beginning, but yes, I do. So I'm going to play it. So notice it faded in from a black and the music didn't come in at once. If you want to get a little more fade in, you can for each of these clips. Let's stop it. Once you get a fade in in, all you got to do is click up on where the thing meets. There should be a dot there. Just click where it meets and you can actually pull that sound fade in, you know, a little farther down. I'm not sure you can do it on this one or not. Yep, you should be able to. Again, I'm just going to fade this in a little bit like this, too. So, again, if we go all the way back to the beginning, we play it again. There you'll see a fade in again. And there's the other checks that we made before. So that's a couple of things that you can do to videos. And that's kind of fun. There's, I'm sure there's a lot more to it, but that's a start for us. Thanks.